Friday? It's far too early for this. Traitor. All right, I surrender. <laughs> well, I'm awake now! Stir up with envy and revenge. I'll get you back, and when you least expect it. That trap's not finished. It's getting poison spikes fitted tomorrow. I will kill you, Kruso. Or die in the attempt. That now is my pledge. over Friday. And when I get out... You got a fever because you look like you're sick. Save your false words! Poison. Poison. Snake bite? So you confess. What's your medicine for snake bites? Wily snake. Infernal serpent. Tell me. You have to help me. I am not your lieutenant. Look at me. This is serious. Hey, Friday! Don't pass out on me. No, no, no. Friday! Enemy. Of mankind. I will get you an antidote. Okay? You'll be all right. You have my word. One more word, it'll be your last, I swear. Goodness. It's coming in here. If it isn't our savior. I need your help. That's what you promised me last time. I caught you stealing. I need antidote. Jerk and Sasha. Snake bite. Where is it? Show me the wound. It's not me, it's Friday. Snake. <laughs> Uh. Uh. 
Don't do that. Today is the document to sort things out. From A to J, Jane, from Jane, A to Z. Jürgen Sasha. Which is the parasitic vine. Mm. It has to be freshly harvested before it flowers. Distinctive by its semblance of snake, the flower should be chopped, immersed in liquid, and immediately ingested. Somebody's been doing their homework. There's only two things that get you left alone on a ship. Standing in a crow's nest and learning a medical book. And surgeons don't glam rigging. He'll be dead by now. <laughs> what? Immediately ingested. It's an urgent cure. I'm sorry. You're too late. I shouldn't have left him. He didn't know me. It's where he'd kill me. Doesn't sound like snake bite to me. If it's not a snake bite, he could still be alive. C come with me. Come and see him. No, no, listen. Shh, listen. I'll give you anything you want. Everything I have is yours. Money, gold. Please, this is the last thing I'll ask of you, I swear. Please. All right. Hello, boy. Friday. Friday. On his shoulder. I'll do good still to find evil. Why would I do evil? Hold him still. And the thought of lost happiness and lasting pain torments him. Where have I heard those words? The only draws his painful eyes that witness huge affliction and dismay. Paradise Lost. I've been reading it. Milton? Mixed with obdurate pride and steadfast hate. Have you nothing lighter than the fall of mankind? How about a sonnet? I see thy fall determined. Where's his part of the castle? Up here. Well, I can guess who had first choice of bedroom. He prefers things natural. What are we looking for? Anything he could have eaten or drunk. Drank from a snake or scorpion. You don't know, do you? Honey? Don't! It was no snake bite. Your friend was stung by a wasp. There was two puncture marks. Two of them. Enough to poison him? It's not. Don't blame the wasp. It's the honey that is poisoned. They were just protecting it. Is there an antidote? I need to look it up. Where? My books. Back in the camp. And? I like you better the other way. Causes hallucinations, delusions, high fever, and if untreated, death. What are you doing? The men are losing patience with you. I had to amputate a leg today. If he dies, you are retired. <laughs> Maybe I'll amputate your insolent tongue, boy. Now get me a drink.
Cool. Anesthetic. Put him over here. He'll be more comfortable there. Are you all right? That? A mood, not a rage. They shouldn't let him bully you. They? Each is watching their own skin. Okay, let me see. Yes, an antidote. I've never seen this plant on this island. Do you know it? No, I don't. Tropica, which it's promising. Grows in rocky, exposed areas. Tolerates harsh environment, direct sun. If it's here, I know where it'll be. Crush the leaves, boil until water clears. Good. Listen, how much time do I have? Only hours. His fever hadn't taken hold. When it does, find the plant quickly and I'd say he has a chance. Sneak up on people. My friend is right to think you're simple. My friend does not think we're simple. Satan, then. I would have stuck with simple. We should hurry. We? What color flowers has this plant? What hue of leaf? You poison him with a yes. I won't have my work undone by ignorance. <sighs> Whatever you say, Olivia, Oliver. Have a drink. You like to give orders, don't you? Excuse me. Would you like a drink? Was that Rowley? You should have let me deal with him. Rowley doesn't frighten me. No man frightens me. I can see inside them because of what I am. <laughs> Obviously, I have to cut a hole in them first. <laughs> I can't see a man's soul or a man's spirit with a knife. Snake! I know that move. It's called overreaction. Does your book say anything about having time to play games? It was for future reference. Jerry and Sasha, snake anti-venom. Look, see how it resembles what it can cure. It's funny how nature pairs things. A natural pair for every being. And yours is in a cage under a tree palace, speaking poems. Mine is in England, waiting for me. My wife, Susanna. What would Susanna think about you raiding your enemy's camp, risking your life for your new friend? Before Friday, I merely existed. He showed me how to live. If I do get off this island and back to Susanna, it's because of him. That's why it hurt so much when he called me a traitor. I'm sure you've heard worse. I've heard the same, for a crime just as great. Which was? Monmouth's rebel army was gathering against the king. I was traveling, too, on trade. A family to feed. I didn't know the rebels had already been routed. The king's soldiers were hunting them down. All those involved were branded traitors and sentenced to death. Ha! <laughs> 
I pray you, sir, will you help a stranger? What can I do? Can you spare some water? It's not for me. It's for the boy. I heard cannon fire last night. That was the rebellion, such as it was. It's over. We had the Lord on our side. The king had the cavalry. We were all lined up for a night attack when a musket shot betrayed us. Thank you. Here, my son. He's changed his mind. We can only keep moving, sir. The king's men will have us if we don't. Are you one of us, sir? I'm... I'm just a merchant. Watch yourself. King James will not forgive any man that has stood up against him. I expect they'll hunt us all down now, after this. Where will you go? The boy asked for his mother. I'm taking him to her. Who's there? Robinson Crusoe. Who else? No one. I'm alone. I'll take as much of the fine lace as you can make. And I'll give you 5% over the asking price if you give me six weeks to pay it. Touch the outbuildings. You've nothing to fear from the rebels. They've taken the worst of it. God bless them. Bless them indeed. You're not a supporter. I'm just looking out for my family. But not their future. Whose is that horse outside? Mine. What of it? And who are you? I'm Robinson Crusoe. Here to do business with Abigail Farnham, the lace maker. I'll see your letter of passage. Sir, rebels! Oh. I've been hiding them in the barn! Sir! Go! Arrest the lace maker and Robinson Crusoe! <laughs> She saved my life that day, and I can do nothing for her. I knew they'd show her no mercy. What did you think of her? Brave or foolish? Brave. This is the place. If the plant's not here, then... Well, let's hope it is, and then we find it quickly. You stay here. I'm gonna continue further on up to the rocks. <laughs> Please? Good. Olivia! Don't shout that. Not ever. No one will With hear. One word, one careless moment, and I'm your lace maker. Except death will be a welcome relief. Sorry. <sighs> Truly. Now, was that your plot? If I ever need an assistant. I've always had a keen eye. That's a plant. Round is one great furnace flame. It's one great furnace flame. Yet, Yet from those flames, no, no light, light, but rather darkness. Visible. I'll control your descent. <laughs> My descent? You're lighter. It's safer. Standing up here, it's much safer. You scared of heights? <laughs> I could lower you down. I'll go alone. You don't trust a woman. 
When I get to the plant, I'll give you a signal. You can help me back up. Does that still count as doing it alone? Just in case, what would you like on your gravestone? Robin or Robinson Crusoe? <laughs> It's tied to! Just take it! Uh, I can't reach it! Close your eyes. Ready. I'll stop our sacrifices in time. You've done your best. I promised I'd make sure I'd be back from. I gave him my word. A surgeon can give his word like that. That patients don't call him a liar. The world hears the praise of the living and thinks him a man of honor. I don't care what the world thinks. But I do care about those that matter most to me. Susanna! Robin! How did you get past the gates? Judge Jeffries has named you a traitor to the king. I know. <sighs> he had Abigail Farnham burned alive. The rebels are on gibbet along the Bridgewater Road. You shouldn't have come back. I did not join them. 
I did not break my promise. I need you to know that. Take the children and go back to your father. He's disowned us. Why? Because I wouldn't disown you. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. I do. Will you trust me? Stay away from the windows. I never meant to make this more dangerous. I don't you. care about that. I care about you. Susanna's gone to Mr. Blackthorn. They've come up with a plan. And it better be a good one. I'm to sail to the new world. When? Today. Father, you will see me again. I'm sure I will. Susanna will get me a pardon. And when it's safe for me to return to London, she'll put a notice in the London Gazette. You'll never see that. One way or another. I will. So what you like about the Crusoes? We do choose our women well. Although, to be honest, Robin, I think they do the choosing. Perhaps you can find a space in your baggage for, for a keepsake of us. Your breach is Bible. With the family history written in. Wherever you may find yourself, this is who you are. You are my son. Always will Don't forget. What will you do? Stay at home. Live my taxes. Try not to draw attention. What is it, boy? What is it? He's gone. This way. Brilliant surgeon. What's happening? Stay away from the railings. Where go? We need to keep him near. This way, this way. He's trying to kill you. Where else would he go? Now what? Give it to me. Now who's giving the order? He needs to be chopped. You know that anesthetic you have? Yeah. Is it strong enough to work from a dart? Yes, it knocks out Rowley. Why? Okay. These are hollow. And these are sailmaker's needles. If I can fashion this into a dart and fill this with the anesthetic, I may be able to shoot it in Friday. A blowpipe. Right. <laughs> if we can stop Friday from attacking me long enough, we may be able to give him the antidote. Oh, that's a big if. I'm open to all sorts of ideas here. Fan of Milton. The pretentious pig. He's a great poet. How long do those need to boil? Until it clears. Mm. 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 
Uh. Ocean journeys are long. Even mediocre poets are a distraction. I bet it's very lonely for you living as Oliver. Why did you leave Susanna? Leave her? No. She was not on your ship. I was returning to her. Then you had to leave. No, I had no choice. While there's life, there is choice. Staying would have cost me my life. I might as well have joined the rebels, because in the end, I had to flee like one. Robin, don't argue, please. If there was any other way out, we'd be taking it. Your wife knows what she's talking about. You're a lucky man, Robin. She's more than I deserve. Let me pledge this. You must agree to it, both of you. Should any mishap occur, you, and let's not suppose it will, but if it did, I will take full legal control of your children. Now, you understand what this means. One day, all that I have will be theirs. Why, sir, for that, I'd be tempted to offer myself here and now. Robin. That's more like it. Farewell, Robin. Thank you. I put something in your Bible to remember us by. I love you. I love you. Is that from the arrow? No, it's nothing. No, let me see. I'm the surgeon. What? You can bandage better with one arm than I can with two. Yes, like you can climb a cliff alone better than with my help. <sighs> it's novel to see someone risking so much for a friend. <clears throat> when Friday recovers, promise me you won't tell him how worried I was. I'll never hear the last of it. You don't think we're too late, do you? The dungeon horrible on all sides round. As one great furnace flamed. You're ill. Listen to me, Friday. Friday, we have a cure. Friday! You're my brother. Remember the boats in the tree? Yes, you do. Remember the dogs and the games. You trip me, I trip you. The dogs. The dogs. That's right, remember the caves? Returning the bones? It's Crusoe and it's Friday. We have an antidote. You have to drink it or you will die. Find him. Half in here. We'll split up, cover more area. Half? He needs all of it. Fine then, I'll take it. You stay here. What if you go the wrong way? Or the right way and he attacks you again? He's dying. Does he give up if he sets his mind to something? Does he? I am not waiting here. I can't do nothing. If he's still alive, he will come back, won't he? He's sworn to kill you. Your only hope! Oh, I have done nothing but hope for the last six 
years, nothing but maybe and if, nothing but nothing. God can't keep taking people away from me. Robin. Stand away from me. If he tries to kill me, at least I'll know where he's at. And if he succeeds, he'll drop his weapon, and you can give him the antidote. You died to save him. Yes, I would. Your friend is right. You're so simple. Go on! Kill him! Put him out of his misery. We need your help. You said you didn't want to have your work undone by ignorance, remember? Friday deserves to live. Maybe I don't, but he does. Help me. Friday! You want Crusoe dead? I will kill your traitor. You're not the only one he has badly used. Our charade worked. You were lucky. For a moment, I was thinking of putting musket ball in, not just gunpowder. It didn't only come from me. I love Susanna. I made a vow before God and for my whole life. You could be rotting halfway down a cliff right now. Your wife may be in London. No, don't. Don't. I never let men near me. Don't make me feel like the temptress Crusoe. Crusoe. <sighs> Did I win your bed in a game? I do not like it. Well, you'll have to win back yours. I am not feeling too well. Will you read for me? Just a minute. You weren't the temptress. But... For my disguise. Crusoe. Thank you, Olivia. Oliver. I think I'm hallucinating. I saw a woman walking into the forest. Sounds more like a fantasy to me. Huh. How about some sonnets instead? <laughs> sonnets? <laughs> 